Hey everyone, how's it going? 60 seconds back here, and today I am bringing you a NATO strap review. Um, this is going to be kind of a biased review, just because I never owned any other NATO straps besides the ones that I have here. I've had these for about, I want to say, I want to say I've had it for about two months now. Um, they're pretty good. They're, uh, they're, not, they're not bad at all. I'll get into that a little bit later, but just to give you an overview, um, oh, by the way, I did get these from Amazon. Um, I don't know who exactly sold them. It's either Civo or it's, it's watch band guy or whatever, but I'll be sure to link it down below into the description where I got these from. So, um, yeah, jumping right into it, uh, $14 for this, for everything you see, well, not including the watch, obviously, but $14 for the four on NATO straps. Um, you also get um, a, a spring bar tool, which is uh, pretty good if you don't have one. Uh, they supply one for you so you can easily change the straps, so you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, it should work good enough. I mean, I've heard of people changing their, their, their straps with a, uh, with a flathead screwdriver or something, as long as it's uh, thin enough to get in there. But, um, but yeah, it comes with that, and then it also comes with um, 20 millimeter spring bars and 18 millimeter as well. Uh, I, I don't know why they give you 20 if it's an 18 millimeter NATO strap, but they give it to you, so might as well keep it. Um, but yeah, uh, these come in a variety of different colors. Uh, this was just the package I got. Um, you can't mix and match. They are pre-selected for you, but they're pretty good. Uh, they seem to have, I mean, it's, it's, it really is all about like what your opinion is, but they seem to have like one or two good ones, and then they throw like one or two like not so popular ones in there. But, but yeah, um, let's jump right into the review anyways. Um, I'm not going to do a review on this actually because I don't, I've never used this. I haven't used it yet. Um, I, I'm keeping it as a backup. Um, spring bar tools are probably just cheap. Um, but, but nonetheless, they give them to you. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go back into what I was doing. Um, so the NATO straps, uh, four NATO straps. Uh, you can see the color combinations I chose here. And um, I'm going to be honest, they are actually pretty good NATO straps. So there are four things that I kind of look out for when choosing a NATO, or three things that I look out for when choosing a NATO strap. Um, just get quick right into them. Uh, me personally, I look for stitching, which you can see it has here, stitching around the holders, um, around the buckle, and anywhere that, anywhere it's folded over each other. Uh, other NATO straps are glued. Um, I never had a glued one. Um, I mean, like I said, these are the only ones I've owned. I mean, people have them. I, I don't imagine it could be that bad, but I personally feel like the glue could easily rip off. Um, the second thing I look out for is um, heating around the edges. Uh, what that does is it will prevent um, it will prevent fraying. You're not going to... So it's nylon, um, which means it melts. Um, that's why I'm saying heating, but it's not going to fray as much when they apply the heat because the heat melts the nylon and it starts to become like a glue and it kind of seals in those seams around the edges so nothing can kind of like stick to it and, and start you know ripping the threads out and then the last thing i look for is the same exact thing around the pin the pin holes for where it's sized uh this is where you're going to see a lot of uh a lot of wear and tear um you're constantly taking your watch on and off and and using the buckle and it's gonna catch sometimes right where the hole is and if they are not heated and are not kind of glued people call it around these holes this thing is just this pin here is just gonna tear these holes apart and it's gonna start fraying threads are gonna start pulling out and everything so those are the basic three things that I tend to look for and these have these all that these straps have that all covered um, I could say that there is other brands. Um, it seems like other brands have different, different quality NATO straps for sale. At least from what I saw, they have the glued and then they have their premium NATO straps, which are stitched and then, and then it goes on from there. But, um, but yeah, these, I, I personally think this is a great deal for $14. I think you're getting a lot for your money, um, with the spring bars, the spring bar tool and four NATO straps. Uh, like I said, I never had any other NATO straps. I don't know um, how soft other ones can be. These, to me, I, I don't feel it on my wrist. Um, 
for 14 bucks, what, I mean, how, how could you really complain? I mean, if you say, oh, this costs $4 here, you're spending $10, $2.50 on a strap. Um, that's pretty cheap. I mean, I mean, if, if it's a little bit, I mean, I don't notice it. It does not itch my arm. If you remember the last video, um, the, the, uh, the band or strap that came with the SNK 803, that was just totally itchy. It was stiff. I did not like it. These don't provide that. I, this is the one I have my SNK on all the time and I don't even feel it anymore. It's, um, it's soft. I don't even realize I'm wearing it sometimes. And, um, and that's kind of a good thing. Um, you don't want to have your band pulling your, your arm hair or, or being itchy and uncomfortable. Um, so really, I think that's, that's really all that kind of matters when you're choosing a band. You do want quality because you do want it to last a while. And I think these can provide quality. Like I said, I've been wearing this for two months and I don't even have, these holes here are absolutely perfect, especially where I always put the pin through. Um, it's not even fraying around the edge. That's what the glued edge does, or the, the, the glued uh, seam does. And yeah, the stitching, the stitching is absolutely great. It's quality stitching. Um, I mean, you can't really ask for much for $14. And what this provides for $14, um, it's impressive. Uh, it, it really is impressive. I mean, you can't, there's no complaining if something was to go wrong. Um, I think these things can last a year. I think they will honestly last more than a year. That's how, that's how reliable I think they are. And I'm definitely going to be going back and getting more from this uh, provider. Um, just because I can get four um, for the price of one. Uh, I do plan on getting, you know, one of those $12 NATO straps or $20 NATO straps just to see it and eventually compare it to these. Uh, I'm sure maybe they're a little bit softer or something. But like I said, you, I don't even feel it. I don't even feel it on these. But yeah, I'll sh try and show you what I mean by the stitched. I'll, I'll just bring this one up. So you can see the stitching there. You have a stitching around the buckle, around the holders, and it goes around to the back side, which is important. Um, you have it around here, around the second band on the NATO strap. And um, you'll see if you could, I don't know if you can really tell, but the glued holes there. Um, I mean, if you can't see it, I'll just edit it out. But, but yeah. Um, the other thing that I like with these straps, it is the double band. It's not the classic NATO. The classic NATO is technically one band, so it's like this. And what I don't like about that is that these spring bars here are showing. I mean, probably doesn't make a huge deal. Um, probably is not a huge deal. Uh, I don't really, I mean, I don't think it really matters. But to me, I don't like them having showing. Um, I like that they're covered with the second band, and that's what this provides. So, um, but yeah, that's it for this review. Definitely re reliable and, and really great for the money that you get. Um, I, I would feel confident in buying these. I'll link them down below. You can check them out. They come in, I think, everything from 16 to 24 millimeter. They don't have every color and every size, but, you know, um, just see what they have. Um, but yeah, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time.